Greetings. Welcome to Legacy of Worlds. I am Tome Keeper Devon, and I just want to take some time to thank those who make this show possible. Hero Forge, WizKids, KP11 Studios, Foam Brain Games, and of course, Lynn Vander themselves. But now, the adventure and the stories unfold. We're going to roll initiative. There we go. Oh, okay. So, Melf, 11. Plus. Plus four. Uh, Melf, you and. Are you giving me the other? Plus seven. Yeah, you and uh, Maple are within my aura of acceleration. So my charisma go. bonus gets added. So plus seven. Uh, so 11 plus seven, 18 plus four. It's 22. 22. Barracks, I rolled 17 for you. Best roll I've ever had. Eight. Uh, actually, it's uh, 19. So 19 total? Wow. Um, uh, at least 12 plus zero. 12. We're at 12. Yeah. Ooh. I, uh, so Elminster, you're at 19 plus five. So 24. And Maple's 19 plus my seven. Plus so 26. Six. Wow. Yeah. 32. There we go. 32. Yeah. <laughs> I unfortunately rolled a nine, but I had 13 to that. So I'm at 22. Ooh. Nine. <laughs> uh, do you want to, between you and Melf, who would prefer to be first off in the in? Uh, I think I'll let Melf go off first. Okay. He's <clears throat> right. Go off. <laughs> Was he king of labor in the fridge? No, wait, wait, wait. I, I, just picture, I just picture Loho being like. Melt, and then the, this elk was flying out from the gas pile with his spear, like, 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 like Brad Pitt style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, slow motion, yeah. the, 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 the sand flying away. Yeah, uh, level but, fight, let's however, go. with a 32, yeah. people right. could be up first. <laughs> <laughs> wow, people, yeah. So, you are currently in the uh, sand cloud that Elminster has conjured forth with his pipes. Uh, uh, but you can see out of it clearly. You can see the, the ruins and the sand, and you know that there are uh, raiders and marauders that are hiding out. Um, you can kind of see them, but at the moment they have cover and are, are somewhat hidden. What's your passive perception? Um, that's pretty decent. That's something like twenty-three. Oh, okay, they're not. They're not at all hidden. Hold on, it is twenty-three. They're, I didn't learn. Okay, they are not at all hidden from you. Okay, they're not good. They, they do have cover, but you can you can see them peering out. And based on the ruins yeah. here, just behind you, there's one hidden right behind them in the center. Yeah, they're, they're, they're around the ruins here. Yeah, around it. Yeah, but that one's nice and close. Um, and it's definitely within a 
my walking speed. I think I'm just gonna smack it. I'm gonna smack it real hard. All right. Behind. So, so what, do we, what do we what do we see emerging forth from the sandstorm? Ooh. Okay. I mean, so Maple is obviously the most intimidating bear. They don't really consider themselves to be like buff or scary or bearish. But in fact, when you are about to be mauled by a big brown bear, yeah, it's terrifying. And they are snarling. They are damp because I've been sweating yeah. for who knows how long. You can sand clean well, your oh, bear hair. Yeah. Loving it. Yeah. You can definitely, it just smells like wet dog hair, mm-hmm. but um, that adds to the level of intimidation. In the dry heat, too. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> You're about to be embarrassed. Oh. <laughs> that was good. I would like to swing with my... I'll move your mini. Are you going to, uh, to the yeah. sector look? Um, are you going to this one? Yeah. So you, you approach with a massive axe, then. Yes, I have my one-handed axe because I have a shield. Okay. Oh, I can roll damage. Bye. What do you, so what do you have to hit there? Um, so I'm using my my hand axe. Okay. Um, so to hit is going to be plus, I think that's 24. That's, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's so the numbers are so high at level 20. It's like, I'll hit 24. <laughs> you approach, so you approach this, this, uh, this, this mole, this humongous human-like creature with muscles brilling out, kind of rivaling you, actually, in size and, really? and, and width, it, just a pure muscle, and uh, decked out in, like, bone, uh, spine-attached leather and chitin and different straps. Uh, but something you do notice as you come up close, especially with your high perception, is that one of his arms is completely encased in uh, a metal sort of... Um, uh, Arm, some metal arm with with a kind of a weird looking gauntlet. Like their arm isn't there; it's instead no, like, of metal. It's arm? it's it's like it's over top of their arm. Okay, okay. They actually like seem a, to have some kind of metal, ex, like a metal exo. Yeah, yeah. Elegant? Like part of their arm. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's something to note. I would love to cut it off. Okay. That would be. <laughs> a, that would go well in the library. Uh, so that is going to be okay. I got it. Yeah. So, so you did uh, hit. You did hit. Um, twenty-eight damage. For that's not right. No. Twenty-eight. Ten plus. Sorry. Fourteen. Fourteen damage. And then thirteen. I attack three times. We're just gonna keep it nice and simple. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and seventeen. Uh, 17 is your to hit the second time around. Oh, that's a thing. It's yeah, been so yeah. long. <laughs> um, the 16 hit. Uh, so you bring the axe down for a second swipe, and you see a little f- pulse on his forehead as you just kind of slam into something that's not there, but very solid. So hmm. Nice. Hmm. Uh, and he's just kind of like... Careful. <laughs> <laughs> we make eye contact. It's a little romantic. Um, that's a nat Whoa. 20. Just that that 20. Right, that's nice. the funny? Yep. Yeah, symbol. so cute. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a critical hit. Uh, <laughs> How's the bulge on his forehead looking now? Uh, well, we'll see if he still has one. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying watermelon goes splat? Yeah, jeez. Yep. Okay. Blood is water, right? So... Face fist. <laughs> <laughs> Where's face fist when you need him? Right. Yes. Okay, that's weird dice. math. Six, twelve, twenty-two. That's without. That's just the attack. Uh, but that's done with my. I have excessive force. Okay. If I understand it right. When I can crit, it does like extra. So that times two. Well, let me look at. I don't know. I don't know if that's exact. For the crit, let me look. Make sure I got the math on excessive force right. Sounds legit to me. <laughs> I mean, doubling the damage sounds pretty darn good. You would, yeah, you would double your dice for sure. Oh, so then, so Not, then we get four d8 instead of two. So that's right. Yeah, so you got two more d8 to that. Eight. <laughs> Eight. Wow. Okay, <laughs> so yes. Yeah, so yes, you doubled your damage. Hot. Yep. Next to d8, we don't want weapon. Yeah, so, so, so you did 22 before, and you had 16 Plus more. Plus 16. Woo, 38. 38. <laughs> yeah, on that hit. Can I crush his skull like a watermelon? 
Um, he just manages to slide his head out of the way as you carve his ear clean off uh, and just kind of slice off parts of the shoulder, sending the pauldron flying off uh, as, he, as he stumbles backwards. Uh, what uh, parts, parts of the metal that's clinging to his hand, kind of peeling and falling away. It doesn't seem to be on very well. Um, and he kind of looks at it like wide-eyed and fearful, but... Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just... Was that, was that, yeah, yeah, that was your third attempt, right? That was right? my third, yeah. Uh, anything else you would like to do? Um, it's just that homie near me. So yes. we're pretty good to stay engaged. Okay. You know? I'm here uh, for this. That'll take us to Elminster. Mm. With your 24. Yes, so Elminster is automatically protected from arrows and magic missiles by this ever-smoking pipe. Sure. <laughs> He's going to turn the wall of force of the ever smoking pipe, the little umbrella that protects me from rain and so on, just to be between me and this guy. Okay. And I'm going to cast a ray of frost. Cantra. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 48. Which is yeah. also safe from, uh, yeah. from, go ahead and make an attack roll. So that'd be this one. Uh, you roll the d20 first. Yeah. Five. Plus your spell attack bonus. Mm-hmm. Which is probably pretty high. Which is probably pretty decent. Yeah. Uh, I think I've all. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Is it higher than that? Yeah, it might be a little higher than yeah, that. Mine's, mine's a 14. It should be proficiency plus intelligence modifier. Yeah. yeah. Plus five. Yeah. Nine. Oh, sorry. Wait, what? Proficiency twenty-two, or is it nineteen? Which is uh, which is proficiency? So uh, proficiency is six. Intelligence gives plus five, so plus eleven. Um, so is it just no? And then you you probably got uh, you probably got magic item on. Something. So like, anyway, uh, yeah. Either way, seventeen or eighteen. Yeah. We'll that'll get through. Uh, because he uh, his psionic shield means nothing to you. <laughs> See, yes. a ray of frost. Yes. <laughs> yeah, plus two. In fact, <clears throat> as you throw this ray of frost, he's always like, "What is that?" <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I say it's less a ray of frost and more a ray of slightly cold water. Yeah. I gotta say, if you had not, if I hadn't given you the decanter of endless water, I would have used the blasting effect, not because it's the most powerful attack, but because I would expect them to be like, oh my god, they're <laughs> shooting gold at us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you should have traded with us. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay, he takes a whole nine hit points of damage. <laughs> what? Oh, you did your best. But isn't he stunned? It was a warning by shot. how refreshing yeah. and cool. Yeah, he's, he's, like, he's so stunned. He's like, stunned effect. This is amazing. Doesn't Ray of Frost slow him? It does. He's slowed yes. by ten feet. Yes. yes. From astonishment. Yes. <laughs> yeah. His his leggings are so soaked that they cause it. Wait. Uh, anything else from Elminster? Hmm. Do hmm. you wish to move any more? <laughs> it's a little crowded here. It's like playing chess. Wait, you don't want to be all bundled up in one location? Uh, oh. No. <laughs> no. Why not? <laughs> It's a certain lack of trust. <laughs> it's not you, Dungeon Master. It's it's years of bad decisions, bad life decisions. <laughs> yeah. We see the scars. Yeah, yeah. This guy is standing on the middle of a line. Is he? Put him forward one. Yeah, yeah. I just kind of move him until he's there. Uh, oh, so he's in that. Actually. Uh, right. Then uh, Melf. All right. Uh, do you think uh, Keith would be able to move yeah. my character over to those two? Oh, we will what? be in honor, sir. Oh, is that the fair? Is that the best? Hey, wait. Okay. <laughs> They're very spread out. I can, yeah, I can they are very spread out. out. Okay. Hmm. Can't I? <sighs> There's nowhere with two, huh? No. Okay. Uh, From the pipe. Yeah, give me some. No one's over here? Uh, there's one there. There's yeah. one there's the thrag queen, which is like corner. the captain. And there's the okay, side. so I'll go up to it. The it, captain? Can I reach the thrag queen in 30 feet, or am I going to be too far away still? Um, the, what, one, two, three. 
four, five, six. Oh, 40 feet, actually, because I'm... So it still sorry. gets you not quite... Not quite there? You can definitely get this guy. Okay. He's uh, sneaking up behind you. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll go ahead and take that one. Okay. <sighs> so, uh, to answer your question, you, to, to conjure the meteors would be an action. No, no, Once they are out, it's a bonus. No, no, it's it, the, the pipe, if you just hit the pipe, it spits out one. Oh, it spits out one. Yeah. What? Oh, then that would be a bonus. That's awesome. Yeah, so you could do that. Yes. Okay, okay I like let's that. do that. Let's do it. Then the guy just has to make Okay, so just for that bandit. But also, it's a meteor, so it's hot. So you're like doing the whole, it's like a sauna experience. You're doing the whole like, yeah. hit them cold and then hit oh, them hot. What? Yeah, I like yeah, that's that's like a, a, El Mister's Spa. Oh, El Mister's yeah. Spa. Yes. Uh, that's a three. So I'm guessing yeah. fails. Okay, so. Two D six fire damage. Okay. Yeah, and then it's gone. Yeah, then it's just it's just the blue. Oh, eight hit points. Yeah. Okay. Bang. All right. So Melf, you have moved. Yep. I'm just gonna stab this guy. Just got hit with one of my meteors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for twenty eight. Uh, and I'm using a cantrip, green flame. Okay. Flame he he throws. He throws up a psychic barrier that you just cut right through. You don't have any time. I'm gonna need to stab right yeah, through that. I got flaming spider here. here. All right, so I'll do 3d8 uh, plus my weapon. No, that's good. Uh, all right, not so well. That's actually pretty good. Uh, 14, uh, 16, 17. Sorry about that. Uh, 17 plus 12, 13. So, 30 points of damage? 30. Okay. Yeah. Nice. That's just your first attack. Uh, well, I used a cantrip, so technically that would be an action. Right. Yeah. But you can... Uh, yeah. But yeah, I think you can... Yeah. If I could do both. I think I, you can do both. I think yeah. as a blade singer, you get to do an attack and a cantrip. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Cantrip. Well, then, then I'll use my second attack, which will just be a regular attack. Uh, 17? 17. If this is just with your spear, his just, psychic barrier will uh, catch okay. the spear. Okay. Unfortunately, he does, maintain, he does maintain it despite the. Uh, Unfortunately, I miss. I rolled a three, so it's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and, and there I am. Okay, Lowholt. I'm going to go, if you won't mind, Keith, I'm going to go to the center of all the stones, like all, right, like basically to my left corner. Yeah, that toward yeah toward the direction, toward that guy. But I'm going to stop, keep going, keep going a little further out. <laughs> right there, stop right there. I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to drop the disguise. Sure. Mm. And I would let the armor to be shown and glinting and be like, if you want it, come and get me. Okay. And I will take the dodge action. Oh. Um, so, and you still have Sanctuary up, I believe. I have Sanctuary up. Actually, put me back 10 feet if you don't mind. Um, oh. Right on the right on the, right on the crease. Right on the crease, back yeah, exactly. There, yeah. yeah. And I will be like, come and get me if you want it. The first to kill me gets it, I say. Sanctuary up. I take the dodge action. Um, as my as my main action. And I will Can I hold channel divinity? Uh, not if you can dodge. Can I hold a bonus action? Not if you dodge. It's a bo uh, can I hold a bonus action? Oh! It's a bonus action to channel. Yeah. Let me read it yeah. real quick, because I think... Uh, I don't... Actually, I can't remember if this one is. Uh, the second channel divinity. Um... I'm using my channel as an action. Uh, yeah, right. Right. It's not, yeah, not if you dodge. Ah. Okay, I will not use it then. I will just dodge. Okay. Take a defensive stance. Take a defensive stance and say, come to me, come to me. I'm trying to group them up for my team. Uh, give me intimidation. Sure. Oh, 15. We'll see. Not very good. <laughs> hey, come and get me. It's probably better that you're not intimidating them. Yeah. Well, well, he here's, could the armor give me a... Uh... I, I was actually going to say, I feel like the armor is more so what they're going to be looking towards less it's than greed you. Less it, it's, yeah. it's more greed, less like, so one way I hate know. that guy. It's nothing personal. Yeah. It's the fact that you're literally wearing um, an entire life's worth of money. Oh, uh, positive interaction. <laughs> I'll take a drink and let the water kind of like spill on it. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 yeah. I'll even go, I'll even go. <laughs> I'll waste it. I will waste the water. Hail Malthus! <laughs> I, no check required. I can't buy I know, I just um, um, pour it out and just in fact <laughs> in fact your show of of defiance to their entire culture and way of life 
is so strong that uh, fr rumbling from the bone structure oh, great. emerges a voice. What's all that? Whoops. Oh. And uh, a decrepit individual in long flowing robes <laughs> levitates like out to the side. Kind of peers over, sees Low Holt, and a big toothy skeletal grin surfaces on his face. Mm. With the raise of his hand, you hear the of two Beliste. I've got my smite on you. <laughs> I will make some wisdom saves yes, for please. your uh, your sanctuary. Yeah, well, that's how two works. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's going to be a four for one of the Belistas. That's probably how I can do it. No, 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 close. It's very close. And Ooh, that's a little better. Uh, a uh, 20. No. Really? Spell save DC is 21. Well, there so we two list of balls okay. go. <laughs> well, that just means they have to choose a new target. Oh, okay. which, they're which fine. they will just do that. Um, so who can they see in the cloud? Me. Yeah. Uh, currently, we we've got uh, Maple and Melf outside of the cloud. Oh no. So uh, oh, we're not hitting Melf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just try it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you shield the ballista bolt? <laughs> so, yeah, why not? Just neo it? No. <laughs> a bolt flies directly towards Maple, and a bolt flies directly towards Mouth. Okay. Um, so that is going to be a 10 to hit Maple. Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> and a Get ready. 21 to hit Mel. <laughs> 26. Right. So both bolts <laughs> fly into the sand as you move out of the way. 26. Then they explode. So I will now need dexterity. 26. I don't have a bonus on my dexterity. I do. I do love the image of it though, because I love the bolt coming and like Melf like literally just stepping just the like yeah. inch, yeah. Like, hey, it where to go by, and then boom. It's it's like the Loki scene right. when he grabs yeah. the arrow. Not bad. Yeah. 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 Twenty three. Twenty three. Okay. Five. <clears throat> I'm trying anything to do to like I'm just not I'm a big old bird. What like, about the what about the people that they're engaged with? Do they get hit with it too? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's the explosion, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh you, oh you think this lich cares about his own <laughs> He he's looking at a he's looking at a at, at an individual wearing more steel than he has ever seen in his life. Oh no. These men have just become cannon fodder. Yeah. In fact, he's not even shooting ballista, he's shooting well, ballista the entire thing. Shooting. Uh, I also have a cloak of displacement, so he would have needed to be. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eventually, on the explosion, the, however, the, is. Yeah, yeah, here yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so, he's got the bunch Maple, of Maple, you're going to take you know, 30, mm -hmm. 30 fire damage. Okay. Um, can I and use a reaction? So we take uh, my evasive reaction to take half damage? So, yes, you can. But cool. Um, the. Uh, Mm -hmm. The uh, so fifteen fire damage to Melf. As you yeah, just you managed to just sort of twist out of the way of the explosion, but he still got a bit of the a bit of the singeing. Uh, and yes, the the two that you are engaged with are also going to need to make dexterity saves. Uh, one of them is going to take fifteen. Which one? The one on uh, the one on Melf. Okay. We'll say that that one. They both were kind of just disengaged from each other and, and got out. And although that guy now has like some pretty bad. Burn marks on his side. He's kind of like looks over at the lich, <laughs> but obviously sees that Melf is not about to back down. So he's like, "I'll, I'll deal with him later." <laughs> and uh, yeah, the, the the guy with with you uh, takes the full the oh, full buddy. brunt of the blast. Um, <laughs> Poor guy. And uh, he just and you just see a skeleton just crumble to dust. Yay! You may oh. tip that one over if you'd like. Wow. Okay. Dun, 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 so dun, sorry. Dun. As the two of you are locked in, in, in a battle, just <laughs> there for tremble. Well then. I mean, you're not doing it right any, either. You it also just... It hurt. The full, the full brunt. It burnt some of my hair. It crumbled the glass. Yeah, it sounded pretty intense. Yeah, it was a massive explosion. Um, with that... Uh, being his lair action... Merix. Hi. How's it going? Yeah. Uh, so tell me about the lich situation. Which, which so he's he's here? over on on the far side there. Okay. So just sort of. Because I'm assuming you didn't walk the... 
towards uh, the, well, the, the citadel. Well, I'm yeah, saying the party. I'm assuming I'm sort of yeah, you're, you're uh, just up sort above of the, the, cross, the, the crossroads. Yeah, 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 yeah. the crossroads. Um, so here, we'll put me, we'll put me there, and just imagine I'm, you know, thirty feet ish up. Um, sure. <laughs> so he's here. Like high off. Yeah, the he's ground. like way up off the ground yeah. in his gargantuan. And, and his ballista are they like? Close they're on to turrets. Him? Yeah, they're on either they side. Far away. Like my they're on either. The area of effect. So each of the each of the ballista will be on either corner of the map. All right, so we got to check the the area of that okay, here's meteor the thing. swarm. Is what I'm thinking. If we're gonna meteor swarm this, this yeah. um, I'm uh, sorry for you, real quick, guy. Mm -hmm. Um, where's the card? And are oh, we, good point. Are we a it's big an artifact? I don't the think the card is. Mo I yeah. know exactly where the card is. Right, I've said it a couple it. times. The <laughs> card is moving, so the card is in well, likely inside. Right. Some sort of yeah, how long does citadel? Long which is not where we are. How long does locate object last? A minute. Don't remember, but I think it's a minute. Well, it's probably worn off then. Yeah. Right? Right. I mean, like, but I don't think it's got something that can be destroyed by. Oh, just okay. Great. Well, in that case, is it sixteen squares? You get sixteen uh, squares. Of radiant of effect. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Concentration up to oh, ten minutes. 15, oh, okay. 15, 16. So you get, okay, you get so the that's quite so corner to corner. Still have it. Yeah. You can, uh, I, I, I was questioning yeah. myself because I'm like, we've we've searched things through dungeons so many times with that. So. Two meteor right. swarms. Yeah. Uh, that's what I'm saying. It's I, I, I meteor swarm isn't. I, I'm not. But I basically know game, where it is. I believe in the two of you. Is what right. I'm saying. So. Uh, First of all, um, I am going to draw my crossbow. Sure. Bonus action, I assume. So then I am going to um, cast haste, dropping my invisibility. Uh, now, let's talk about that. Hmm? What spell? Left? <laughs> Three. Oh, okay. I, I apologize, guys. I totally misread that. Blazing orbs of fire plummet to the ground at four different points you can see within a mile. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought it was a big idea. I, well, okay, well, that's a bit of a thing. That was just the range of one meteor. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> well I think, uh, you, you know, you guys can think about that when it gets to yeah, the this, this is the okay, meteor. So just drop all four. Right right right. So I'm going for a third level spell. <laughs> okay. Again, I'm a scientist. I'm interested in this. I've already done some experimentation mm -hmm. with it. At the moment, I know I can draw on my own energy in the air, 30 feet away from people. Am I feeling the mana of the land? What am I feeling? Less so. Um, you, like, what are my options? Being in the it's air, you don't actually feel any real magic surrounding okay, you. Okay, so like, am I the only there's source? There's traces amount in the air, um, but yeah, no, you're you're pretty much the only source. I'm, I'm still willing to do that, so that's another three. Yep. Uh, so, you know, burning the hit dice, that's fine. Uh, all in the name of science. So, so uh, what happens? So, that it, gives but. me an extra action... Uh, which I can't use to cast a spell, but I can use to use an object. Mm -hmm. And so I'll I'll raise up a little. So I'll go up. Let's call me, you know, uh, ten squares up. Sure. Put uh, put like a d10 next to you and mark it as a ten or something. Um, and I'm gonna drop a fireball right there, which will get. I can get four, yeah. I, three. Excuse me. I can get these three guys with a fire. And that's a spell or an item? Oh, that's the item. That's, that's the crossbow. Okay. okay. That's me Our checking out the crossbow. Which I've, drawn, I've drawn a couple times, and you know, and it's it's huge, and it's got you know clips and lots of levers, and it's it's definitely sort of looking at that, and you know, looking at Lisa, who I know likes the crossbow too. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching uh, this. Checking the uh, crossbow. And, <laughs> and being like, ah, oh, good, that works. Little feet of fire. <laughs> um, yes, please. <laughs> Yeah. And then right. singes out. Uh, so that is uh, yeah, got to break out the case for this. Yeah. So two there, right? Yeah, uh, yeah so it's it's three. There's a guy behind. Three hands. Okay. Yeah, going in the corner. Uh, just Rambo squeeze it up. And uh, uh, Steve is what a good sound. Over twenty one for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, hold that up. Some bang ASMR this, yeah. of some fireball dice. Uh, mm -hmm. Hold that up for some ASMR from fireball dice. Love the sound. <laughs> So, who, who made this all the dice again? Ooh. Okay. Oh, these dice are made by Foam Brain Games. These are key special dice. Yeah, they're a mystery, I'm afraid. Okay, so that is 38. 38? 
38? Yep. And sorry, who were the three? There was the there's the guy with the spear, the guy with the the, the, guy the blue cloak guy with the spear and the shield. There's a and, uh, person with spear, person and then like a head. Oh, okay. oh, I see. Spears are very easy to make. Yeah. Um, and let me check my save DC here because it's stupid. I mean, they rolled that at best a 16. Oh, then nobody. <laughs> it. Don't even waste my time. <laughs> The first fireball of a campaign is just always, yeah. you know, it feels yeah, so yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's like a moment, fellas. Yeah. So yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's the fiery like full ball. style points. There. Thank you. Uh, and they to do a meteor swarm, maybe look pathetic, but they pathetic. attempt to take cover, but obviously take the full, the full blast uh, as they're they're very not armored, but very well bodies are badly burned. Uh, and they they scream because the last thing you want in 100 degree Fahrenheit heat is third degree burns. <laughs> oh my mm -hmm. god! Yeah. All uh, <laughs> still up? Uh, yeah, they're still up, but yeah. they're, they're they're very very upset. And not no happy. worries, no worries. <laughs> uh, but I think that's it for you then. Now, oh, no, that's a good. chunk of stuff that you just did there. Okay. First of all, Commander Buddy there, who looks like War Duke, is going to charge at Loholt, screaming a blood-curdling battle cry. 25, 30, 30, 30. How close am I moving? Can it move the full? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, right there. All right. Is the, does it look like the, the Throck Fiend's coming at me, too? At some point. Okay, that's all I need to know. Okay. They're toasty right now. I just, I just smile. And I don't even look at them. I just smile. Uh, as he runs toward you, um, I would like you to make a strength save, please. Uh, 16. 16. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, okay. Um, you feel a invisible force try to constrain you in place. Ooh. Uh, but you're able to flex that out, but he still comes at you. So wisdom save for Sanctuary? Uh, yeah, I will be doing that. He succeeds. Okay. You made him succeed? I did. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> fair enough. Uh, yeah, so he comes at you in the pure anger and fury, and, I mean, let's be fair, the greed in his eyes is just so strong that even as the energy radiates from your uh, from your sanctuary, he's just like, nah, money, man, I'm, I'm, I'm so taking he, that. I, so, excuse me, I'll make you sure. This one is 5, this one is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 away. This one was 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 away. Um, so I will spend my reaction then. Okay. Um, and I will chrono shift. Okay. And I will push him back 10 feet. So okay. He has to spend the rest of his move, his action to get to in close with me. So no wood, yes. So, so you just see time twist on my cameras. This is a good use of it now. Uh oh. Yeah. And so you, you see him run into the sand and then the sand and then him kind of go R -r 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 -r, rewind. And he's like, what? And, then, and everything's still in the sand. And then he gets there. Um, just a little. If he's going to spend his move to get there, you could choose to throw something. Um. Yeah, I think he's just gonna glare at you with fury and uh, get you to make another strength save. Okay. Uh, Seventeen. Mm. Okay. Yeah, you feel something begin to crush itself around you, but again, you're able to uh, kind of stretch and. All, even... all, I'm even doing that. I'm not even looking at him. I'm being arrogant to piss him off. I'm just starting to look. I'm looking at the thigh cream. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Um. I but, thought I'm going to take a beat real soon, but I'll be like, Mel, at least I can do some help over here. <laughs> oh, no. I see. I think you're too far from me. No, it's way. Who, me? No. Interesting. No, get in there. Let's see. Hey, does it close? But he does continue to close in. No, how close? Uh, I, uh, he was 30 feet away from you? Yeah. And then you put him back 10 feet? Yeah. He has no more movement. Just oh, so he's going to stay there? He's not going to spend his turn. Uh, his action oh, to dash at you. Oh no, I can't get to him. That's yeah, because he, he, he made a range. He tried to do a range. Oh, let's see. That's last year. I think that's good. They're going to be pretty close to. Okay. Well, 
What's this? This is the lich gazing down from his bony uh, uh, balcony <laughs> as he stares out at the arranged field. Uh, Merrick, are you still invisible? Because you've done things now, right? So you're not. But you're up in the air. He took that off. No, he yeah. dropped it. He said he dropped it. Okay. And he's yeah, yeah, yeah. covered in armor. <laughs> yes, but you're in the air, right? Yes. Like a beacon. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, like, kinda, yeah, yeah. like a, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right? Up. Like a beacon. Yes. <laughs> She's not answering. He doesn't want to answer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very, very well. He doesn't want to answer because he doesn't want to <laughs> like a beacon. target him. Um, there are arcane words spoken. I understand. I mean, we're and I, I would like to know what your current max hit points is. Oh, current max hit points are. Can I spell all, Mister? Um, <laughs> unfortunately, yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Um, sorry. I have twenty temporary hit points. Oh, it's it. Okay. And then my maximum hit points are like a hundred forty-ish. Um, okay. One forty-three. One forty-three. Hmm? Sorry, was there a talk of counterspelling? Yes. Okay. You will need to make... Well, I mean, I don't know. At will. You'll need to make an intelligence check. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you know, I appreciate it. Yeah. Bad game. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it, Stinkbeard. <laughs> Honestly, don't. I'll be fine. Second question for you. It's not the first time I've been disintegrated. I, you can't as, as the magic is pulled in from this lich. You can see uh, like the sand around the the giant bone structure begin to blacken and darken and like putrid energy flying its way up into his body as he then sends it out towards Merrickson. You go to reach up and try to counter and as you do so you, you feel the energy of magic swirl around you from the ground and your companions next to you full of it and how would you like to power your counter spell you attempt uh, oh i'll take it from the lid he's too far <laughs> okay i'll take it from that guy and that one well it is a radius so if you try to affect your enemies you will also affect any allies in the range oh you can have some light mana. There's, there's <laughs> no allies over here. It's a circle around you. Oh, oh, a straight circle. Yes, yes. I can't. There's a radius around you. I can't do that to Elise because I insufficiently au fait with the details of her being <laughs> to risk that. Fair enough. I don't want her to fall apart in front of me because I did something rude. In that case, you would like to remove the hit dice from yourself? Sure, why not? You can subtract three hit dice okay. out of your pool of 20. Yep. And uh, now you do want to cast a spell, and unfortunately, you having to sit here and make this decision took a little too long, and the spell is already heading its way towards Merrick's. Mm -hmm. uh, Merrick's, yes. you have been hit with a power word stun. Oh, oh okay. Uh, you are now stunned. There's no save? There's no, it's power word. No, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Unless you wanted to upcast your counter spell. Yeah. At uh, what level would you want to cast it at? Keeping in mind that that will cost you hit dice. Yeah, I could take it up all the way, but you could. Do I do I roll again? So the yeah. way the counter spell is going to work yeah. is if you match the level of the spell, you do not need to roll. But if it does not match the level of the spell, then you have to roll. <laughs> what level's power would stun? But it doesn't matter. You wouldn't know at the time. Oh, Ooh, right. Hmm. Unless he's that good. <laughs> I mean, he could he recognize the words. <laughs> yeah. It's a different world. Yeah, yeah he's done that. Right. Yeah. Make it a DC 35 or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so spell casting ability is DC 19 plus 12. Okay. So, uh, so you're going to, well, are you upcasting your counter spell? Mm -hmm. Okay. What spell level would you like to jack it up to? Seventh. You still need to make a roll then, which you've already done. Doesn't really affect your roll. It's just a matter of you went to try to counter it at seventh. It did not work. Uh, it's going to cost you seven hit dice. Mm -hmm. uh, and Merrick's will still be stopped. Yeah. But wow. you have now learned that the spell cast was above seven. Oh, God. We're in for it now. It was an eight level spell. So, Merrick, I appreciate it. it Merrick, nice being try. stunned. Yes. Um, Talk about that. Your. Uh, you're on a broom which flies, yeah. and I believe you being stunned doesn't cause you to fall or anything, right? I don't because think so. I was you're just kind of like dangling, yeah. or like some. But the thing is, 
how were you perched upon this broom? Were you like standing on it? Were you holding it? Because as soon as you're stunned, I feel like you have no sense of keeping yourself balanced anymore. No, that's fair. Uh, I don't mind falling. It is interesting that just looking at the stunned thing, whether it normally causes you to drop what you're holding or mm -hmm. things like that. Uh, well, it says you're it's incapacitated. Mm -hmm. uh, you so, can't move. You can't really speak. Uh, but if so, my question is: if I'm if I not normally, if I stun a fighter and he won't drop his sword, then I question if yeah, I would fair. actually fall. Um, you might move around. I you're feel like, like I can't down, take action, but you're still holding yeah, on to but the. But I'm yeah. still. Yeah. If your I'm, legs are wrapped around your broom, that's you what can't I, move. Yep, you so, might yeah. end up hanging yeah. from. Nobody falls still from the broom. Nobody falls from the broom. Being stuck. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. So Fair I enough. can't move. I can't. So you speak, are stuck. Like now you may. You may uh, make a constitution save at the end of each of your turns to try to ward off this effect. Sure thing. I think his eyes just have a little... Wee -wee 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 and then he's like sitting there going like, sh <laughs> maybe there's like... Little birds go around your head. Yeah, exactly. Some stars <laughs> flying around or yes. something. That's how we know. <laughs> That's the visual effects. Yeah. Okay. Uh, which then takes us to all of the raiders. <laughs> so, uh, the Thrite Green will charge at Loholt. Yep. Yeah, I'm just gonna say you throw 25, 10, 15, 20, 25. That is a nine. Oh. Close, but no cigar. What are the specifics of this? Is it is it whenever you try, whenever they try to attack? Whenever you? they try to harm something make, harmful, 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 attack or harmful effect. Does that affect AOEs and things things like that? Uh, if it's going to harm me. But the, if their intention is to try and right, sneak but, around my but, sanctuary, but I'm but I'm saying if the fireball went off next to you, and even if you weren't the target, they were just hitting the ground. That's fine. No, if the fireball is targeted specifically to get around my sanctuary, that means that they're 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 I trying. Are. I don't think that I don't think that's true. The if first you were spell. targeted, the yeah, damage, I I'm, I think the area effects are going to screw with you. But I mean, if the uh, maybe you're not the intent, you, you're not the target. You are not actually being targeted by the spell. You just the have spell to be is being thrown. does not protect the warded creature from area effects, such as the there explosion with fireball. You are correct, though, in that even if it was like a generally harmful spell, if they're targeting an object to get me, that me specifically, that wouldn't work. But if they say shoot Elise, we can get me in the blast. Yeah, not so that I he's shoot going Elise. to. They can try. <laughs> Going to maneuver himself so he's between you and the the bigger guy. Is he going to go past me or is he going? No, no, he's just going to maneuver himself. Okay. So he's in front of you. How far away? Who are we talking about? The, the Thrike Creek. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. How far away from Loholt is uh, Elise? Way over there. Uh, diagonally's are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So twenty feet diagonal. Okay, so then. Right, if I did, but yeah, okay. Oh, so. I can reach them then. Yeah, nice. All right, uh, a, a blast of psionic energy in a cone, about sixty feet long. Oh, that's Ouch. gonna hit at least. It's Elminster too. Yeah. Uh, emerges forth. So that's gonna be a Constitution save from everybody in that uh, in that range. Might be in the cone. I think you are. Yeah. yeah. Dirty Damn. twenty. Shoot. Oh man, am I in the cone then? I think you're around the corner. I think you're fine. Yeah. Okay. Then okay. That would... 20. Oh. 20. A real fight. I can... A real fight. Oh, wait. Oh, I could just block. It's slightly that. better. Yeah. But, but, but yeah. 20. Yeah. 20. 27. 27. 15. 15. 20. 20. Uh, so, Elise. Yes. You take 22 force damage. And are stunned. Oh. Um, what? No, 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 no. It's bad. I do not want to be stunned. So no. one moment. I think <laughs> it's a stunning fight. Art, art, art. All right, boy, it's time to pull out the stops. <laughs> How dare you, sir? <laughs> I mean, the outrage. I am outraged. Where is my life? Is it outrage? You should have. One moment. Sorry. I've been so insulted in my life. Mm -hmm. You need to get out more. <laughs> I... Help me up, spike my bum, and it's the downhill from there. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know if I can of I stave off like the stunt part. That's the part I care about. Mm -hmm. um, it's really... 
Yeah, I don't think I can stave off the sunstone part. Okay. I mean, similarly to Merrick, you will get a chance to ward it off at the end of your turn. So. At the end of my turn. turn. The end of your turn. Yeah. <laughs> 22, you say. Mm. 22 force damage. Mm-hmm. Don't like. Okay. That uh, then will cause it to, as it's as it does that, it brings two of its arms up, and the other two arms kind of just push out, and you low hold. You kind of see the light refracting slightly around you, but you don't see anything happen. Okay. Uh, now, the one that is in front of uh, Maple is dead. Mm-hmm. Uh, the one in front of Melf, however, is very much alive and does not want to be where he is right now. Um, so, do I feel an opportunity attack coming? Not necessarily. Okay. <laughs> um, he is going to. You're going to feel something behind you, mm-hmm. uh, a, a pulling force. Huh. Uh, so, if you can give me a strength saving throw. Sure. Uh, that'd be another 19 plus 5, 24. Okay. Uh, in that case, you take 9 force damage okay. from the, the the pure energy pulling at your body, but you remain in place as all of the things kind of tethered to you begin to pull back, uh, but you firmly plant your feet in the sand and as this thing could. Now, Elminster is also right there, though, so you're also going to need to make a strength save. Fourteen. Fourteen. Mm-hmm. Plus one. <laughs> oh, wait, is it? Okay. Does this count as a magical effect? No, it's psionics. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, you've had to on magic saves. I could just block it. You could just block it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you are being pulled by a singularity. Uh, it's going to be 18 force damage. Oof. And you're going to be moved just five feet forward. And I think Elise doesn't really get a choice. She's just going to get both forward and take 18 force damage. Well, it, what, what was, it, was it a save? That, that... It's a strength save, but you automatically fail strength saves if you're stuck. I thought it was disadvantage, but okay. I, might... I think it was. Uh, I will check. I'm pretty sure it's disadvantage. Um... Automatically fails. Really? Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, then, nice. um, never mind. Pull me wherever you need. Uh, so just yeah. five feet towards where this next sail is. Okay. Diagonally next, oh. diagonally next to Elminster. Oh, Adam. Right next to Elminster. Ooh, yeah, right there. Yep. There. there you go. Um, and <laughs> then, seeing as that did not do, I mean, it was nice, but it didn't do his intense <laughs> thing of getting a mouth away from him, uh, he is instead going to go ahead and throw out a cone of psychic energy. Uh, so that's going to be a constitution save from Elminster and Ralph. <clears throat> All right, let's find the, let's find the stuff that we can fight back here. <laughs> Sand and stones crack and fly off from the ruins as the force fell okay. forth. I'm going to uh, use my legendary resistance and make that again. Oh, you just make it. Hmm? Oh yeah, just make you it. just make it. If you okay, okay. Right. Right. okay. yeah, I'm pretty sure ten is not going to make it, so I'm <laughs> going to use a lucky point. Very good. To reroll. Uh, and roll even worse. Oh, so, oh, no. so that's not good. Sorry. So what you're saying is you're unlucky. I am unlucky in this particular <laughs> Which is that still, which is again. technically being lucky, just in a different way. It is, yeah. <laughs> the opposite way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, then you are fine. Mm-hmm. And then Elise, unfortunately, um, you get to make a save. You get to make a con save. Oh, I'm in this one too? But it's a cone. All right, so even the odds here. There you oh, go. much better. Uh, that's a 22. Okay. Despite being stunned, your body and mind are still somewhat capable. That's correct. <laughs> so uh, you will only take 11 force damage. Oh, is that all? As will Elminster. Um, Mel, for whoever's going to take the full 22 brunt and be stunned. That's not fun. Damn it. Uh, but that's its turn. Uh, the one over there is going to try to stealth towards Elminster. Yeah. Elminster, you hear someone trying to sneak up on you. Um, there's not much you can do about it, but like you know they're there at least. Well, there's the force field from the ring. Okay. Which is just like a shield spell. Or Fair enough. All force. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's e- like a little umbrella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> they are going to attempt to stab through the wall. Who's this? Is this person? Okay. They're, go- they're going to attempt to stab you. Yeah, that one there, yeah. So. 
open. Uh, and... Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then the uh, those guys over there who were in the fireball, mm-hmm. uh, they can't. I guess they can see Merrick's, but like he's very high up, and they can tell that he's not currently in the way. As they kind of look towards their lich and cheer, and he's like, "Go <laughs> kill them!" and and uh, they're gonna lunge for the closest target. So that one uh, with the spear there, I think, is there? Are they thirty feet away from Maple? I don't know if I can count that. I think they're just one, two, three. They're not quite four diagonal. Okay, but yeah, as long as they're six squares away, then they should be able to get. Those two are definitely not. Those oh, these ones. Yeah, those oh, are definitely okay. too far away. That's what I thought you were talking about. Like, if I don't we know. do diagonally, yes. If we're stair stepping, no. They're mm-hmm. going to be ten feet away. Okay, put them within ten feet of Maple then. Okay. And uh, they shall Damn, sleeves. No, I can't. Mm-hmm. Do we like them? Uh, so uh, the the one with the spear on the back there is gonna move within ten feet of Maple. Oh, I didn't even yeah. know there was a person Sorry, there. Sorry, there. Uh, so he was there. One, two, two three, four. Five, I mean, he's a little fried, six, but a little toasty. Can I get Maple to make a strength save, please? For sure. I know you're terrible at that. Oh yeah, definitely not great. This is good. Oh, um, but I didn't roll my best. Oh no, how about twelve? Okay. Oh, can I go forward on this? Let me see. No, it's not a No, it's for attack roll. Yeah. Uh, so, you feel f- uh, a force, an energy, wrap itself around you. Um, so, that is going to be... <laughs> this is all before we get to the ledge. Right? right. <laughs> oh my goodness. We got this. We got this. minions. Ooh. We're taking it easy on them at first. I know we're just doing the canter. It's so a Now it's time to drop the seventh and eighth. Level. So you are currently restrained <laughs> as uh, it holds you in place. Um, and then, seeing as you are now restrained, it will <laughs> emit the mind blast. And this will, I think, just nope. hit you because everyone's behind a wall. Yeah. Yeah, no, they're all behind. Yeah, you're all behind the wall, so this will just hit Maple. So, Maple, I need you to make a con save. With disadvantage? Uh, I don't think you have disadvantage on con save. Okay. You can't move. Oh, that's fine. Disadvantage uh, on strength and dexterity check. Yeah. <clears throat> Got it. Okay, 15 plus 9. Okay. Uh, so, in that case, you're just going to take 11 force damage. Oh, and you ouch. will not be stunned. Uh, and then the last two guys are yeah they're just kind of exactly. they're just gonna move move in. That's like that's more than half their movement to get there, or more than their thirty feet to get there. Yeah, well, yeah, they've expended their movement. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they are going to kind of just hit shields, uh, and I think they're just gonna hang out for now. But they will lift up rocks mm. and throw those within sixty feet of them, which I think. For the one guy is only going to be Maple, <laughs> so I do that. They have advantage because they're restrained. Yeah. Had to pull out all the stuff. Doesn't matter. Uh, same on both dice. Uh, that is going to be a twenty. That'll hit. Hit. That'll hit. Eight. Okay. Uh, it's Twelve bludgeoning damage. Yeah. Maple's like whatever, man. We're good. And then the other one will do the same because they have advantage for Daki. Why not? So another. 12 legending damage. Another 12? Left you there. And I think that's all of them. Okay. Very good. Moving on to finally, Elise. Well, Make a now, uh, your locate creature or locate object, mm-hmm. um, did you maintain concentration on that? Mm-hmm. Okay. I haven't done anything else. Okay. <laughs> uh, it is not in the direction of the citadel. Oh. It is instead beneath you. Is it directly beneath No, me? just beneath the... It, it is down from where you are. I know it's moving. down, but can I it's feel... It's no longer moving. Can I feel the angle at which it is? I'm assuming it's down this way, but I mean... No, it, well, yeah, it is... It is. Uh, we'll say just kind of over this direction a little bit, kind of diagonally like down that in way. In the direction of Loholt or in the direction of Let's where see. Luke is sitting? In the direction of where of where, where Luke is sitting, yeah. Okay. All right, so bit, I still bit of a ways, feel ways that... Still. Um, I can't ex- really express it to anybody. You, you, you can see there does appear to be uh, a ruined tower in that direction. Okay. And the trail of corpses uh, kind of scattering around it. <laughs> you do get to roll at the end of your turn, at maybe. At the end of my turn. Um, there's really not 
much that I can do other than that, which is terrible. Unfortunately not. Um, so, at the end of my turn, I will attempt to shake this off. <clears throat> Constitution save. <laughs> <laughs> Stunned. You don't try no. not for anything? No, but I can use my last thing, my last... Indomitable? Uh, <laughs> I don't want to use it right now because you're just going to get me again. That's <laughs> fine. I'll try. It's not bad. What's your plus? What are you talking about? <laughs> it's just... Seven is better than a four. <laughs> so not good it was a five. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. And um, no, it's still only a, a ten. Oh, Okay. Top of the order. Worst the top die order. roller ever. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get back up to the top of the order Ooh. with Maple. Murder! Oh, and you are top of the train. Oh, yes. Which means well, you have disadvantage on attack. I need those. Unless it. you would like to try and break out. Yeah, I should. Could that be, but that would be your action, and you would be foregoing all three attacks. Mm -hmm. I can do so much to my speak. Oh, stress. Now, the guy in front of you is dead. Yeah. So you are you can't really do anything other than throw stuff. Or, you, or use a range. Well, she can't move. She's or they, or they, they, can't, they, they, they can't move. Yeah, they can't move. Yeah. Yeah. Throw him. Yeah. <laughs> come up and throw him. You can throw your axe. You, you want to pick up the dead guy and throw him? Can I do that? Yeah. I'm not moving. I'm yeah, that, you're not moving. You can do that. Back. Okay, yeah. You pick the dead guy up. <laughs> What would that be? That's an improvised weapon. A meaty smack. That's a that's a cudgel. That's I mean, a, essentially, yeah. A man's <laughs> cudgel. That's what, a great club. Yeah, a great club. Yeah. Um. So to hit, it's going to be eighteen. Okay. And they throw up a psionic barrier. <laughs> oh, it's like a bucket in the windshield. I don't, yeah. I don't think they're that surprised that this kind of fighting tactic is fairly common yeah. on Atlas. <laughs> It's either rocks or bodies. I mean, yeah, or bone or obsidian or yes. therapist or whatever you can get your hands on, really. Stone. Hi. Elminster's hat. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if I can't get out, then. Uh, no, that would, have been, that would be one of your attacks. So you could oh, make, we're doing it like that. Oh, you could do two beautiful. more attacks. It's just you need to throw something or. I think he broke his shield when we went to throw him. Captain <laughs> America. <laughs> oh, is there a shield on the ground? Yes. Oh, wow. Can I throw the shield? Yes, you up to the Captain America throws the shield. Captain, right. <laughs> Captain Maple Barica. Okay, so with disadvantage, it's going to be 16. Okay, so <laughs> bounces off the psionic defense. Scissor return. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll try, guys. I tried. I tried. Do you? I mean, I'm sure you could grab a brick or something. I was going to say, we're around ruins. You are, like, yeah. They're picking up rocks. They are. I want to pick up the biggest Very rock. Good. Just pick up the wall. Yeah. <laughs> no, the wall. The wall. With disadvantage. You don't actually have to throw it. You just have to toss it. Okay, so okay. that one just goes wide <laughs> that time. <laughs> but are they intimidated? Emotionally? Oh, really? No, that's all right. One, one of them's got you mentally grappled, so yeah. it's not exactly... Not feeling any Yeah, uh, but Hellminster... I need a DM sort of thing, because the okay. uh, wording for Meteor Swarm has changed substantially from earlier editions. Okay. So if I dump multiple Meteor Swarms on either side of an individual target so that their blast radius intersects both, mm -hmm. do they... Are they exposed to two set blood they are. damage? I believe so, yeah. I think you can dump all it. four. Because right as far as I as far as I'm doing the string, I don't think they all fall boom, boom, side boom, of, boom. If they all no, simultaneously, no. I would still consider that to be a double blast. Yeah, I, if they're not mm -hmm. quite simultaneous, that it definitely is two blasts. It, it reads like yeah, okay. okay. I think looks like artillery strike. Yeah. Okay. I mean look, <laughs> if you if you threw yeah. six meteors at one person, <laughs> would they taste take six times the damage of a single meteor? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> okay. As Luke said, artillery blast. A shell hit as the left. Shell lands to the right. Also, you Left got, the time you got two again. different shock waves, like eviscerate. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. So is that, a ninth, is that a ninth level spell? Yep, it is. I, I recommend borrowing some hit dice from people because you want some. If you put nine you into it, you're at, you'll be out a lot of hit dice. You'll, you'll still have four left. <laughs> I've, I've got a ring of restoration. <laughs> yeah, I also. That's right. I also, yeah. once I can speak again, can do a lot of stuff. Yeah. Okay, so let's bracket the lich with three. All right, and, and you, one, and you will be you will be um, doing this from your own internal yes. power because you don't. 
Oh, that, that, is, that is nine hit dice. Yeah. yeah. What what count are we on, by the way? I know should have... Uh, we're currently at twenty-four. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And the the last one, the fourth, right along that wall there, so yeah. so that the the okay. edge of it catches. So I will say. There. I will say. Mm-hmm. Seeing you casting a spell. Yes. The lich. Can, can, he, can, he, can he see him? I don't think oh, so. you've been moved. That's yeah. right. He's yeah. behind the wall. He can hear you, but can't see you. Yes. I believe. Means he cannot do anything about it. <laughs> Even if he hears uh, a power, uh, he, you don't have to spit that. He can try and counter spell, but he won't know what it is. He, so he won't know what it is. One one trade. Yeah, yeah. DM foreign language and all. No, no, I don't. No, no, no. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> So he'll do an eight I was going to say, spell. he's not, also, he's not expecting a ninth level spell. No. <laughs> I haven't seen anything like that no, yet. He might think he's weak because he couldn't counter his spell. Right? Exactly. Yeah. So I'm going to say, I don't see anything about seeing you. Just says, do you want to drop, so, drop it all on him? Just, just so what I'm going to do, him. I'm going to roll to see if he's able to roll high enough to potentially attempt to counter your spell. Now, you can attempt to counter his counter if this is going to yeah, be I, so. I'm afraid he's way more than 60 feet away. Uh, yeah, but we were letting him counter him. Um, okay. I'm counting the the, the, the the fortress as an extension yeah, range. Uh, the range is so, counter dive on the range yeah. is one mile. He's, he's, oh, no, no. Yeah. Counter spells. Oh, okay. yeah, sorry. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, one mile. Is, <laughs> the, the fortress counts as an extension of the lich. So if you're within 60 feet of the fortress and the... Okay, okay, the, okay. Yeah. Um, Lair actions and all that. That is going to be an intelligent. I guess this is an actual strap check. lock. Yeah? yeah, that's not gonna. That's not gonna cut it. Uh, so he goes to counter it, and you see very confidently he just reaches out and does some spells. And dude, I would drop <laughs> all missiles on him. I'll take care of these. As, no, as the sky gonna, gonna free swirls and opens yeah. up, and meteors begin to fall down. So you are targeting the lich with two. Or, or, or mo- all but one. Was that? Uh, well, I initially it was going to be three, but uh, you're, you're going to follow low holds advice. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. All four. Yeah. 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 All four. Okay. Uh, so meteor swarm. These are dexterity saves. Do you want to borrow a dexterity saving throw? A per, per give me- all your dice. <laughs> per meteor, I see. Yeah. Per meteor. A creature yep. takes twenty d six fire damage and twenty d six bludgeoning damage on a failed save. Or half as much damage on a successful. So 160 <laughs> dice of damage. Right. Is what we are yeah. Well, should we just average about. plus 10 percent that? <laughs> okay. See if he fails. 23. Is he safe? Yes. For one of them. For, right? for the first one. Okay. Which I'm I'm hoping at least is a success because it's the highest he could roll. Yeah. And what's your DC? I you said it was 19, 20. 19, 20, it's 22. 19. 19. Yeah, it's oh, something yeah. like that. 19. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, so, that that was was so he's able to take half damage on one. On um, half damage. Yeah. 10 D6. Uh, the 13, the 13 will not do it. Okay, yeah, so one fell. That's 36. Mm-hmm. That definitely will not work. Two. Uh, uh, 50 D6. Okay, but I'll tell you what, because he's a lich, he d- he's going to succeed all of them. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> was half damage, then. That's, That's right. the only one with legendary. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, but sure. that'll be that for those. <laughs> what, what, how much, uh, what kind of damage is that? Half damage. That's so, as the, the, meters, the 80 dice. The meteors 80 dice are damage. raining down towards him, and he, he attempts to leap out of the way, and realizing oh, that whatever's gosh. happened, he you just see, he, he looks around at, at, at rapid speed, and he just, with a flick of his wrist, throws his own men out of his fortress and into the blast to, uh, to absorb, soak, up, to soak up some of the damage. That's his legendary resistance. That's his legendary resistance, <laughs> throwing his own men. It's more like meteor spray at that point. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, that's 80 D6. <laughs> okay. Um, two hundred. Do we have a cookbook? We want to. Do we want to just say yeah? Two hundred forty. Is that the average? Yeah. Uh, three times eight. Well, I, I the average. We're roll? usually done three point five. And, oh, okay. Uh, so generally, yeah, yeah. Two hundred. Let's just round it up to three. Uh, forty. The two hundred eighty. Unless you want to roll 80 No, no I'm fine with 200. I mean, if we had a bucket of 80 I think you should I would do it. happily roll. I think you should do it one at a time. No, no. Oh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> <laughs> and the next three episodes. Yeah. 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 Watch us roll. Three. <laughs> okay. Damn it, I How should have that bucket of D6s already. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Yeah. Well, we, we can use the damage. Uh, oh, yeah, we got it. What you got? Uh, 
There's a poop. I don't think that was fire. Take that back. Yeah, yeah, that one's not. Oh, that's just one. That's oh, that's one. Is that one? Yeah, I think that's one. Yeah, one. Yeah, they're forty dice each. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so that'd be seventy-five for the first one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Halved, but no, 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 no that, that was half. That is half. Yeah, it was half. Well, let's dice across the screen. <laughs> this whole screen looks like dice just rolled across. It needs to. It's think. taking. It, yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it took a minute. The so that computer one's is taking a minute. Doing the cut. Okay, so, so, so one forty-six and seventy-five. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we had seventy. This, this is this is the first two. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Is this, is this calculating the half day? Yeah. yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm having it. Okay. Yeah, we're seeing this whole come up on the screen, and then we have it. So we're 146 so far. Okay. Yeah. Uh, another 70. Okay. 71. Okay. Okay, so two. So was there four or just three? Four. He threw all four out of Oh, okay. Then I got one more. So, so, so what do we have? 216. 216. Oh, those dice bouncing everywhere. Wow, that gets some good rolls here. What? Uh, yeah, 136 and, and half is uh, what? Uh, 65 and three, 68. So, so we're close to 280? Yeah, we are. Yeah. We are at uh, two. Two eighty. That's it, It's either two seventy nine or two eighty nine because I just. Two eighty nine. That's pretty good. Pretty good average, folks. Yeah. That was fun, actually. Yeah. I didn't believe I could do that. Oh my god! Oh yeah, no. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's crazy. Oh, wow. You need to be out so much. Makes things so in his easier. dying throes. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Piss off, Elminster. A. Very angry, tiny little bead of fire comes. Spraying towards you as a hand that is then crushed by meteor after meteor, surrounding by gore of his own destroyed uh, minions as his fireball careens towards you, Elminster. Would you like to just counter that? Well, the wall of force should take care of it. Is that protecting everybody around you? No. (laughs) So in that case, yeah, let's counter spell. (laughs) It auto auto succeeds. Okay. He's casting at a third level. This is you can't. You got one hit die left. Hit die left. So So, it was worth it. Yeah. Bonus action. I will get my little ring. Uh huh. To restore my hit points. Your hit dice. Hit points. Yeah. Ring of restoration. Okay. Uh, well, so the the meteors careen, and I mean the bone fragments fly out of the the, the fortress as uh, the whole thing begins to shake oh, and lose a charge, crumble, <laughs> and slam into the ground as the shockwave sends sand flying out over and across the ruins. As the fighting stops for a moment, was, all of the raiders look at Elminster. I was just going to say, uh, Melth is next, and mm-hmm. after that, I was going to use the sword to cast Mass Suggestion. I think maybe this is a time to try it and just end the fight. Okay. <laughs> mass Suggestion. Yes. Wouldn't they see him as their new raider? Yeah, they're 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 oh, yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. Ready I ready to all to say, kind of yeah, that. Why waste it? Yeah, yeah, fine. Hire them to, like, sell your wares now. Uh... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All hail the new defiler. Mines down. Yeah. Shields down. Yeah, they I they see. I want to see what you're really like. Cuz I'll use my psionics just to make sure nobody's readying anything. Uh they just saw you take out one of the most powerful wizards they've ever known. And then counter the spell they threw at you in defiance. <laughs> They're pretty cowed at this point. Oh, good. Okay. I, so nobody's planning it to be immediate. Good. I will merely say, having made my saving throw by a bunch up above, I'm just gonna gonna look at that, look at my crossbow, and say, "Damn, I need a bigger crossbow." <laughs> <laughs> what are the two in front of me doing? Uh, watching you warily, but kind of like everyone's a little hesitant to re-engage. Now, Mel, if you wish to just continue killing, you could. And did, did am I, you am I stunned them. still or not? Uh, you would still be stunned, okay. at least for this round. So. Tell them right. to go fetch the car for you. But, yes. Where does your All right, draw? I will I will try to use hard. luck again because I only got a 12. Okay. That's not very good. So, come on, dice. You were rolling hot before. No, no, my dice have turned against me. Oh, so, no. uh, okay. Then, Lowhold, what would you like to do? Uh, are they? I, like I said, they they are hesitating. They do appear to kind of be looking over at Elminster and seeing him as maybe like 
you know, hey, well, hey, 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 hey buddy, uh, you know, no hard feelings, eh? you know, we're just, we're, li listen, we were just following orders, this, this guy up here, he was, he was all, you know, he's a big, powerful, we want to get this guy out of here, tell them to go fetch the car, I own a hundred thousand pairs of stretch socks, go feed yourself, <laughs> so I will, I, I, knowing that they're all like that, I'm just going, to, so if I disengage, what, what I will say is they're still, like, very wary of you, like, they're not sure that them, it's, it's all about survival at this point. They're, they're not sure that they're that, that you're actually out acquiescing to. Is my alert and, like going off that they're ready to strike? Still, they are ready to attack if you show any further sign of hostility towards them. But you also get the feeling they're likely going to try to retreat as they do so. Okay, um, I have yeah. Okay, I will just uh, back up, not engaging in the fight. And I will walk over toward, basically, under where Merrick's is, and they're all just kind of standing there, still doing their thing. You just, you're disengaging, right? Just well, I'm not going to disengage. Are they going to? They, 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 they will not make them. They will not engage in yeah. hostilities. Okay, that's important. I'm actually kind of inviting them to try. <laughs> um, and then I will back away, uh, just kind of try to meet eye contact with the rest to see what the plan is. I'll look at Ellen and be like, "Do we want them gone?" I want all weapons down, dropped, right now, all weapons, and I want you and you to go and retrieve a certain card. So I will. The the big the big the the Thrykin Ukraine will. I think at this point. Uh, we'll, Can we drop we'll, out a comment? Yeah, yeah. Uh, for the time being, we will stun people. Back we will. Up. We will kind of delay. Initiative allowing the stuns to wear yeah. off. Thank you. Uh, we were in the process of retrieving great treasure, but it has eluded us. Is this the thing we wish? This great treasure? What great treasure? Great steel beyond understanding, similar to. Friends, yeah, yeah, yeah. Perhaps they're looking for whatever's holding the card and moving the card is armored clad like We've us. We've got it on the run. And uh, the, the Thrite Kraken kind of holds up one of its legs and you can see it's got some nice armor plating running up the side of it. Hmm. Is it like the exoskeleton? Similar, yeah. Ah, okay. I would recommend... Get some healing. The chance you're like a cleric, right? I do. <laughs> How bad, Trigger? 50 points. Oh yeah, no problem. I can take care of it if you want to do. Well, uh, the only thing I was going to say is uh, if you want to do the locate object. Uh, I can yeah, do. Yeah. I mean, I can do. Okay, well, go ahead. I can do both. I suggested you and your. I can't do big healing in combat, but I can do a little healing a bunch. Sure. I mean, I can do both, but um, why don't I just do? <clears throat> None of my things are set on, which is very annoying. Well, while you are looking, yes, go. Lo Lo will say, I suggest you and your scallywags will retreat to your home. They look over at the destroyed remnants of the bone for I'll find a new home. What was that city again, Maple? Oh, oh, Silver, uh, Silver, Silver Spring. Something? Silver Spring. Oh, Spring. I suggest you retreat to Silver Spring. You would send us to our deaths. Yeah, they are not welcome there. <laughs> Black Sands, then. Anywhere we but would, here. We, you are sending us to our death. Oh, I have a, a skirt of gourds. You like, want some of my gourds? Wait, are we going to be nice? No, we're not. No, okay. I'm, I suggest okay. you go anywhere but here. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> you want to stay here. You would like... No. We go. Oh, you would like weapons back. Insight on that big y Yes. To you, me. you would be willing to send us into the desert is to send us to death. This is desert. Uh, now, but, but, supplies. Uh, very good. Okay. We need just one thing from here. We aim to get it, and then we will leave you. How much do you If you get it. Oh, I don't need it. He needs 50. I mean, all too strong. Anybody else need? Oh. 50 damage. Oh, okay, 50 each. Then we'll attempt to run more. Okay. We're looking for a card, and we need it intact. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
gestures to don't try and use it. A couple of them, and they start kind of spreading out and continuing to search around. And or I, did you want to send them to where she detected it? I'm not. Do you want to actually send them to go where the card is supposedly located, or just have them keep them busy? They're not going to get it back from whoever it is. We're going to have to. Yeah, but I would like them to soak the damage first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, go where she directs you. The ruined tower just up the way there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and uh, they begin to make their way to grab. Yeah. They do grab their weapons. Okay, that's fine. Gingerly. Insight? And, and, do yes. they have any intentions to just go for it. this and run? <laughs> of course they do. Um, it's, it's 24. <laughs> you believe the Thrykreen legitimately uh, he's hard to read but he does seem to have reverence for elmister um something i think i think i think you would know mm-hmm. right queen culture is that they basically respect them who is powerful yes uh so they now see elmister as the lord of their clan they will ingratiate themselves to you some of the others some of the <laughs> goliaths and moles and humans yeah, they, they might run off with it if if they think they can do so, but they also don't want to incur the wrath of what they see as a very powerful defiler. If I can speak to just a moment, I mean, just throw me oh. that. Just as a hey, you know, Kamataji, sure. make my voice super loud, staying floating above. Just as a by the way, everybody, uh, we tracked the card here, so anyone thinking of taking it. We'll track you wherever you go. Just saying. Anywhere in this. Yeah, there's some, there's some grumbling and some hesitant maneuvers back to the tower. What are you doing while you kind of await your minions? Just hanging around? Yeah, drinking water. <laughs> yeah, pull up, the, pull up the decanter. Let's be like, uh, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll tell you what, Lovell, as you drink from the water, it, it feels, you've got that water kind of coming down your chin. You wipe it away, but it still feels like, and just no matter how much you wipe, it still feels like water is pouring down your chin. What are you doing to me? <laughs> Nothing. You're just drooling. I'm setting the scene. <laughs> okay. Well, that was an interesting option. Uh, so shortly after, you hear the sound of screams echoing from the tower, and then it's very quiet. Oh. Soaked. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Now we have to go. I like the little bug guy. But he, uh, yeah. yeah. They were cool. So if I uh, reach out psionically for the tower, um, can I see in? Or can you, can, you can sense a mind. You're trying to sense minds, is what you're yeah. trying to do. Yeah, yeah. You sense a single mind. Is it big? And impressive, or just a mind? It's it's not like a crazy, powerful, psionic thing, if that's what you're trying to do. Well, Dungeon Delver, shall we? Great. Yes, oh, let's go. Cool. Dungeon. <laughs> First strange. we had a yes. fight, and now we're looking at a dungeon. This is like, like old times. times. Wait, I'm sorry. I, 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 I was not dragon. Yeah, but I don't want to give the dungeon, dungeon master any uh, idea. You really like don't that want that a dragon from Athos. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like that time with the guy in the cave and the <laughs> things that were preying on the dreams of children or something. I'm trying to remember what adventure we had back in your place. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was like the softest. That's like the softest the consoling ever. It's like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the time <laughs> we had the same. times with the kind of, yeah, on yeah. Shall we, uh, I remember. shall we go? I've blocked that time from my life. Just, shall okay. we go? Dungeon. First, I, I turn on my heel. 360. Any other minds hidden in these ruins? That Nothing's are... nothing like sentient. No. Okay. Good. Okay. There's likely all kinds of creepy beasts and things beneath the sands, whatever. But you're not gonna get with. Yeah. 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 Lizards and side of Yeah. How yeah. far yeah. away is this tower? Approximately a couple hundred feet. Oh. Okay. Okay. It's, it's it's part of the ruins. Like it's, sure. Uh, you get the feeling that they, whatever is in there, likely was chased, and these marauders were after it. Is this mine up high or down low? It's 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 down. It's it's down. Okay. down beneath the tower. Merrick, I'm just saying that after we get the card, and before we leave, and I point over to like the big, like I guess sizzled and and, and like uh, the rest- sail barge, rocket, rest- yeah. check, check that shit out. That lich may have had a couple of items we might want to procure. I mean, I can go check that out while you guys find yeah. a guard. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> but yeah, you're right. I mean, 
I'll go ahead. Might need. I'll we'll go ahead and good. I'll yeah. go ahead and fly up next to Merrick's and say, "You want to go look for treasure?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll look at that one person <laughs> out on the dunes of Athens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll, come, we'll come back. But uh, that's what I'm just saying. That is a good point. So we should well, 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 we, well, let's let's all look then together quickly before we go down because I think the dungeon delver and the treasure spelunker needs to kind of take lead here. So <laughs> we need you to lead the dungeon because okay. nobody can take it down to the bar like a guy gags. I will be hand in hand with you, Sensi. Okay. Right. Excellent. Well, yeah. So you're checking out the wreckage first. Yeah, we'll just take a quick wreckage search. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, 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 I'm just saying the... between us, like, what's your passive investigation? Uh, 26. 28. Okay. Uh -huh. So you just kind of fly quickly over yeah, here. So right just there. flying right around, there, surveying, right there. The, yeah. surveying the wreckage. Uh, yeah, you're really seeing um, or a... there's there's definitely a lot of bodies. For yeah. example, uh, that's very sad. Pretty much the entirety of the raiders that weren't out in the ruins and mm -hmm. uh, dealing with things. Uh, there does appear to be a, a, a glint of a of, a, of a strong box and remnants of what looks to have been a wizard's laboratory. There's a lot of shattered glass and uh, oh, glass there's some ring. weird colors kind of smoking off and, and burning their way through the <laughs> sand and weird esoteric uh, sounds okay. and, and smells. It's a tech magic. Any, any exotic metals? Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> a sure. that be, Well... <laughs> Metals is not what I would say. I mean, I'm just saying metals. I will say here. The so box, if there was treasure, yeah. The box is made of metal. Well, I'm going. No, just take that for now. I can just toss that in the. When and, you come back to it, I can toss it. And in there the, is a lot of magic. Stuff. Are you casting that uh, as a leveled spell? Uh, no, I was casting it as first level spell with technique. Okay, no. uh, then you will either need to do it from inwards of yourself or draw from the land. Which would you prefer? Um. Uh, Lose a hit die. Oh uh, yeah, I'll take the hit. Die. Okay, yeah, you lose the hit die. Uh, yeah, there is a lot of magic around where this l l laboratory was. Um, are you looking for anything specific? Because there's a lot of like liquids and stuff that are just splashed everywhere and shattered. And yeah, it's those kind of are like no longer. Magical, yeah. yeah, but more, more. You know, any weapons, any books, any. You know, phylacteries. <laughs> <laughs> certainly, certainly, I know a lich has a something that's important. I bet you so well, case. Case. You well, do, we'll find out. You do find a uh, with us. a skull inscribed with runes upon it. All right, um, and you also find uh, a, a a sort of dowel-like uh -huh. material. Yeah. Yeah, but looks like a wand. Maybe it does, guy. does look a little bit like a wand, and uh, there is also uh, what at one point must have been like a, a room that was well guarded and maintained is now mostly rubble. Uh, but a a uh, not a full suit of armor, but bits and pieces uh, like a, a metal gauntlet, uh, mm -hmm. a, a vambrace, a gorget, uh, mm -hmm. had parts of a helmet. Like it appears like, the, and these are all on display as like huh. as wealth. And there is also a uh, an entire um, uh, vessel, like a, a huge uh, medium sized vessel, uh, just filled with water. So vessel uh, might not be. Yeah, the vessel might, but might. armor. I mean, I'm just saying, I got a, I got a, you know, not much point in having a bag of holding if you don't. Uh, yeah, yeah. Grab, step. Go ahead, yeah. Grab the step. There's this wand. Uh, the skull. I'm being pretty careful of because I'm not sure if it's trapped in any way. I can. Uh, you want to take a I'm look at it? I'm going to throw a, a hit die. I'll, uh, I'll do identify on the skull. It's the name of science. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, there are so many glyphs of warding, uh, various such on the know. skull itself. Uh, it looks to be human, mm -hmm. um, as, you, as you were kind of examining it, and uh, it definitely has magical properties associated well, with it. Well, identify this one. Uh, yeah. Uh, you probably don't want to lift it from and, and touch it from its current position, at least as it currently stands, uh, but it should be able to enhance a, any kind of defiling done. The range would be extended and the power I mean, would be boosted. In fairness, that is tempting, you know, yeah. for science. So from your but perspective, also, what it would do is it would double the range of your defilement mm -hmm. and uh, 
it would basically uh, treat the spell you're casting as if it was a spell level higher. I mean, again, very impressive. I like it, but, but I'm not this sure. Feels, this feels evil to me. Oh, yeah. Target, yeah. right? Yeah, totally. Okay. Um, I will go ahead and say stand back and I'll just sure. lightning bolt it. Okay, yeah, it <laughs> crumbles away. And again, that will be a spell uh, cost. Yeah, I'll take, yeah. So I'm down for that. So I'm I'm snagging the armor in you know, I mean, it's, onto the it's, wand. Yeah, uh, fragments. So I would say I would say what, what, it, it, uh, if that skull wasn't the phylactery, that metal box that you have is. It might be. Don't want to bring it with us in case it regenerates and comes out of your bag of holding. <laughs> Identify. It's a metal box. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, it's boarded. Dispel magic. <gasps> You can do that. Yeah. I mean, I'm spending a bunch of. I mean, I'll I'll go and do my my math later, but I can certainly do that. Okay. Uh, so what I'm attempting to do is dispel magic. What on level the are you box. casting dispel magic on? Oh, this place I'm not actually brutal. worried about. Wow. Uh, yeah, it's I know if it's higher than what I'm doing, I I'd make a, a roll for it, and so right. I'm just going to use the base three. Okay, you will need to roll for it. All right, and. I had this down, so I didn't have to look it up. Is this a skill check roll? Uh, oh yeah. Yes. Um, so well, it's, a, it's an ability. It's an ability check. check. Wait before you roll. Wait before you roll. Uh, I have. Yeah. I just want to say that your eyes are dashing like the ocean blue. She had spent some levels on both. Oh, and oh, I look in them, I say, good luck to you. And I give you bark inspiration. You can oh, add a D8 to it. Oh, oh, that's sweet. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> I burn a charge. I have a ring that lets me uh, get advantage on in checks. So okay. I'm going to burn a charge on that. So yes, I'll take the 17 instead of the 3, please. Which means I'm going to keep that luck just in case. It lasts for 10 minutes, it. so yes. Good, because I think a 29 should do it. You dispel the glyph of boarding connected to an yeah. armor kill and finger of death. <laughs> wow. Uh, oh, my God. So what do we got? In and I can do some thieves tools if you want to. I love doing thieves. It is tools. locked, yeah. Yeah, I mean, right. you know, again, it's fun. I, I, uh, it's yeah, it's gonna be like a. It's gonna be like a. You roll a twenty on it. I rolled a nineteen on the we die. We sat it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah you just like, yeah. just like, damn, I'm like, damn, 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 like damn, 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 like this. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It just Why do you repeat my joke every single time <laughs> after I tell my joke? What we got? Inside is a like, vile uh, skull themed purple uh, container with various intricate things about it swirling on the inside. Identify. That is a phylactery. No. So, so just curious. I got. I got one question, and then we'll go on with it. I am looking for a magic kill catalyst. I mean, this would work. Now, can I now, basically wait, this is, this him is out of it? Pretty much, really evil. Oh, it's totally evil. But I don't want to use it in its current state. Oh. I'm basically asking, can I smash it and take a piece of it for something else that okay, is that not lich related? Mm -hmm. Can I Probably. repurpose it? Probably. A circle. I mean, uh, you know, that's a morally gray thing to do, but yes. Well, I mean, you know, we're going to destroy him anyway. Yeah, you know, it's I mean, science. And he's we're going to destroy him anyway. <laughs> inside this thing, as he's putting himself back to whatever, mm -hmm. um, what would you say his CR is right now? <laughs> what, the lich? But yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, for dispelling purposes? Well, is CR... I have reasons for asking. It's, it's above 20. It is above 20? Yeah, above 20. Yeah. So, I mean, he's a lich. That's kind of I know, generally... but he's not... Um, in lich form. Like, in lich, he's not in his form. He's, like, fully powerful. What are you trying to do? I'm convinced you want to... Don't worry about it. All right. So <laughs> I'm going to say, I'm gonna say stand back. This yet. is clearly something of evil, and I'm going to say stand back and <laughs> prepare to disintegrate Fine. and disintegrate and take six minutes. <laughs> That'll take care of it, yeah. Yes. 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 And just it just reduces it itself. Oh, to I this. appreciate it. Okay. I have a question for you, just as a dungeon master question. Hmm. Could a phylactery make a dexterity I saving throw? No. Yeah. I was going to tell you if he's in the room. <laughs> oh, of course. Counts as an object upon which to integrate just works. Okay. No. I am a no, good no, no, person, no, but I also I understand. Or something else. Oh, oh yeah, and, and I was going to get one. For future reference. <laughs> okay, last question, though. Uh... 
clear anything, you know, so we've got key things. We've thrown some armor into a bag. Uh, I'm still interested in the, does the metal of the box still look at all interesting if I'm looking for rare metal? The fact that it is metal is what makes it fascinating. Then, okay, so it is just basic steel? Yes. Okay, so, but we've got this other armor. In that case, I am still saying we're in a lich's workshop. I am still just looking for something that I think, you know, that could be an interesting magical catalyst. Well, take the metal box well, just to carry something. I mean, that's true. You might as well have it. <laughs> yeah. It's also just, I can put, like, yeah. trinkets in it or something. I mean, <laughs> it is a good... This used to be a phylactery of the deadliest <laughs> lich in, in Athos. So, sure, we'll throw that in the bag. Um, but basically what I'm saying is I'm just looking for something that I'm like, that would be a catalyst for a little guy I want to make. Uh, do you think I can find anything here? I can make a crazy... Uh, I, th uh, I think the only things that haven't been destroyed mm -hmm. by the collapse of this place would be uh, the, the wand, the skull, and you find... A which few, we destroyed the skull. Which you destroyed yeah. the skull. And you find a few other, like, accoutrements, uh, anyway. various alchemical things. Like You could build, like, a, like a kit here, um, and there does appear to be a lot more dark magic. You can see that there are some tomes that talk really about, what I'm looking for. That talk about yeah. uh, the, the, the sciences of defilement you and want some life stealing stuff going on. Yeah. How, how right. to become Don't a lich books. and all that. I mean, that's all evil books. stuff. That's not oh, the thing. Oh, they're Look, when you're in trivet, would there be a trivet that a Biku would sit on? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, sure. I mean, grab a couple of trivets. Oh, I, I'm, that's good thinking. E uh, evil books for bolting. Can I yeah, we had our... Uh, all right, all right, fair enough. Any maps? All right, we'll we'll zip back. A couple of maps. You got a couple of maps. Sure. While, while they're doing that, when I realize that things are sort of under control, I'm also like searching everything. I'm going to make my way to the to the entrance of the room, mm -hmm. hold my sword out, mm -hmm. and divine sense. Divine sense. Down the pathway, or down the stairs, or down the whatever I see. Down the stairs, yes, yes would be what you're doing. Uh, you do not sense anything from beyond the, like, beyond the material plane. Mm. Or undead. Or undead. Hmm. Or Faye. All right. Or Faye. Go to get the actual <laughs> thing that we're here for now. Let's go. But we got a wand and we got uh, yes. some armor we'll That's check good. out later. Yeah. I mean, so you know. This dungeon. And trivets and a metal box. Oh, I'm keeping that. Yeah, and that <laughs> yeah. box is going to be a good paperweight. I mean, there's no question. <laughs> Maps. Yeah. That's what I do, you know? Yeah. 